Hello friends. Today I'm wearing my Tiger Pride shirt. Do you see this? Caro Tiger Pride. Where are the tiger cubs? And I decided, first of all, I'm chilly, and I decided I would wear this since I'm talking to my tiger cubs. Today I'm going to read a story called Peanut Butter and Cupcake. Hmm, that sounds interesting. This is by Terry Border. Peanut Butter and Cupcake. This is the title page. Does it give you a little hint of what's going to happen? The back page also gives you a little hint of what's going to happen. And another title page. This says to my best friend, Judy. That's called a dedication page. They don't always have that in a book, but they did in this one. All right, here's our story. Peanut Butter got a ball for his birthday. He was kind of bad at kicking it with his feet but kind of good at balancing it on his head. Still, it wasn't much fun playing with the ball all by himself. Want to play with me? He asked his mom. They had just moved to town in peanut butter didn't have any friends yet. I think you should go outside and find someone to be your new friend, she answered. Maybe you've been in a new neighborhood and you didn't have any friends to play with. Let's see what Peanut Butter did. Peanut Butter liked that idea very much, so off he went. It wasn't long before he saw someone. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and hamburger. I'm sorry, said Hamburger, but I'm busy walking the dogs. Thanks for asking, though. You're welcome, said Peanut Butter. Maybe next time. And he kept walking. Look at the dogs he's walking. What kind of dogs do you think they are? He's a Hamburger. You think they're a hot dog? Maybe. Then... He saw Cupcake playing by herself. He thought she looked sweet and might make a good friend. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and Cupcake. I'm building sprinkle castles, said Cupcake. You can stay and watch, but don't hit my castle with your ball or I'll be mad. Peanut Butter didn't want to make anyone mad. That's okay, Peanut Butter said, and he kept walking. This is the one that was on the back. Then he saw Egg rolling down the path. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and egg. Peanut butter and egg? That's funny. You're cracking me up, Egg laughed. And then 
he really did crack. Peanut Butter didn't want the egg to laugh anymore, so he kept walking. He found someone jumping. Hello, I'm new here and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly and we'll go together like peanut butter and meatball. 32, 33, 34. Shh, I'm counting my jumps, said meatball. 35, 36, 37. I'm trying to set a record. Peanut Butter whispered back. But I have this ball and... 38, 39, 40. Shh, said Meatball. Peanut Butter kept walking. Finding a friend was harder than he thought it was going to be. Then Peanut Butter saw another someone sitting under a tree, and that was good, because he was ready to sit down too. Even though he was getting tired, he gave it another try. Hello, I'm new here, and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we'll go together like Peanut Butter and... French fries. Not right now, said French fry. I just remembered I'm supposed to help Hamburger with his hot dogs, and I need to catch up. How fun. Oh, excuse me. Goodness. Peanut Butter walked up to one more someone who was practicing his ABCs. But before he could open his mouth, Soup picked up a spoon, dipped it in himself, and then showed it to Peanut Butter. In the spoon were two letters, an N and an O. Do you know what that says? That says, no. But I didn't say anything yet, said Peanut Butter. You didn't have to, said Soup. Oh, said Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter found a bench to sit on. He was almost ready to give up. But as he sat there, so very sad, a new kid walked up to him. Hello, she said. Peanut Butter took a deep breath. Um, hello. I'm new here, and I'd like to play. Maybe now, maybe later, or even all day. I'll make you chuckle deep down in your belly, and we'll go together like peanut butter and jelly. Sure, I'll be your friend, said Jelly. But could you teach me how to keep the ball on my head? I'm only good with my feet. So they taught each other what they knew and made each other chuckle deep down in their bellies. It wasn't long before their laughing made the other kids come over. They asked if they could play too. Of course! Peanut Butter and Jelly were happy to let them join in. 
as his new friends knocked the ball around with their feet and their heads, and in one case, his buns, Peanut Butter chuckled deep down in his belly because they all went together like peanut butter and hamburger and cupcake and egg and meatball and french fries and soup and jelly. And what a good story. Sometimes we are trying to find a new friend, like peanut butter. And that's kind of hard, isn't it? Even as adults, it's hard sometimes. I was only a new student one time. And that's when I was in sixth grade. So I was older than you were. But it's still, it was still kind of hard to make new friends. But I still remember that. But there's other times that new students start at our school. Or maybe at our church. Or maybe on a ball team that we might be on. And we can be the jelly. We can be the one to be a nice friend and say, sure, I'll play with you. So the next time you meet somebody new, you make sure that you greet them and you invite them to play with you. And that will make them feel just like Peanut Butter felt when he finally met Jelly. And then you can think, we go together like peanut butter and jelly. The end. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.